top of the morning or afternoon or evening whenever you're watching this video hello everyone i decided to switch things up today and take you on my visualization stroll through the design district i usually like to come through here to kind of you know see some of the nice homes and do some visualization techniques but in any case I thought I would kill two birds with one stone because life has been getting super busy lately and I figured I might as well multitask and um, we're here at the end of the year and at this time every year I always reflect on the year I think about all the lessons that I learned mistakes that I made things that I would do differently and I set my intentions for the new year last year you saw me on the beach I'm probably gonna be doing that again this year but I decided to switch up the scenery for you so yeah we're here walking through the lovely design district um, and I'm going to give you five free styling lessons of 2021 are you ready let's go Number one, anytime you leave your house is a perfect opportunity to meet your guy. <laughs> yes, I know it's daunting to like, you know, get dolled up and get dressed and go find a perfect bar or restaurant or location to meet someone. But I just need you to remember that it doesn't always have to be, um, it doesn't always have to be super put together like you don't always have to be dressed up and dolled up when you go out i mean i told you my freestyling um, story when i met the guy with the yacht and by the way he called me back haha <laughs> long term <laughs> long term client but anyways um i told you how i was dressed casually um because I was seeing a client that wanted me to dress casually. So when I went to the bar afterwards, I was literally in gym clothes and I met him. So don't feel like you always need to be perfect to go out. Uh oh, some dog is locked up barking at me. Anyways, don't feel like you always need to be perfect, perfectly dressed up to go outside. Like start finding upscale, but just make sure it's always upscale. That's all I'll say but start finding upscale places um that are casual that you can go to you don't always have to put on a cocktail dress and beat your face to the gods i mean that's there's a time and place for that as well you should do that sometimes too but mix it up do some casual stuff do some formal stuff but just know that every time you leave your house it's a perfect opportunity to meet your guy okay number two strategy is everything i mean i'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this many times about strategizing and all that good stuff but it really does save you a lot of time that way you're not running around all over the place like a chicken with his head cut off but you actually have a proper strategy of freestyling. What does this mean? What does this look like? Today, right now, map out the upscale area that you're interested in. <laughs> There's the dog. <laughs> Let me see if you can see him. You see him? Hey, doggy. <laughs> Anyways, um, map out the upscale area that you're interested in. And then map out the different locations that are in that area that you might want to go visit. And after you do that, map out your week, map out your month, map out what time of day you're going to go where and do what. When you have a strategy in place, it's a lot easier for you to execute instead of you just sitting there, 
you know, paralyzed because you just have way too much going on or you're way overwhelmed, you can actually execute more because you have a well executed plan. Strategy, strategy, strategy. Find ways where when you leave your house, you can also hit up other spots. Like when you're already going to be out and about anyway, you can also hit up other spots to go meet and mingle and socialize and network. Just think about it that way. Strategy is everything. Number three, always think 10 steps ahead. And this kind of goes hand in hand with the strategy. You want to be thinking when you meet someone, for example, what is it that I'm trying to do here with this person? What is my goal? Okay, now we're in one of the prettier parts. <laughs> Number three, always think 10 steps ahead. And what do I mean by that? This kind of goes hand in hand with strategy. So for example, when you meet someone, figure out what your goal is gonna be with this person. You know, things of that nature. Figure out, oh, okay, who is this person gonna be for me? And you should be knowing these things within minutes of talking to somebody. You should know what box to put them in, but you should be thinking 10 steps ahead because that uh, together with strategy will make your whole thing super successful. So yeah, think 10 steps ahead. Think long-term. Don't always be so nearsighted that you miss everything else that's in front of you. Number four, find a new rich hobby. <laughs> I'm sure some of you who have been following me noticed that I said I was gonna start taking golf lessons soon because I just feel like that's another venue to meet a certain type of guy, a certain type of gentleman. So yes, find a new rich hobby. Tennis is also another good one, which I play as well, but I feel that golf is for the leisurely man. It's for the man who's um, maybe semi-retired, retired, and it's just, it's not, for broke people don't play golf, <laughs> just put it that way. So, let me cross the street, there's another guy here. So anyways, find a hobby where you can meet the type of person that you're trying to meet. And lastly, number five, don't be discouraged because as long as the sky is blue, there will always be lonely men looking for a female companionship. So if you're feeling like you're stuck and you're not getting any leeway, first of all, are you even taking action? You should be asking yourself that. What are you, what are you doing every day to get closer to your goal? Ask yourself that. But if you feel, if you're feeling frustrated or if you're starting to like let, let the negative thoughts creep in thinking that you can achieve your goals, I need you to keep that in the back of your mind. There will always, forever and ever, always be lonely men looking for you. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this video and wish you guys a safe and happy 2022. I wish you lots of joy, love, prosperity, abundance, abundance. I wish that to you. And I will catch you guys in 2022. I wanna give a big thank you to all the people that have been supporting the show by joining the Patreon. As I've stated many times, it's only a dollar a month to join and you get access to tons of content that I've been shooting since 2018 when the show started. And if you have any questions, reach out to me there. Um, DM me inside Patreon if you need help strategizing, if you need help finding nice places in your area to go out, reach out to me. I got you. But let's have a 
prosperous 2022 and I will catch you in the next year. Bye.